and welcome to another episode of First Person Shopper, FPS, brought to you by Blorg.org. I'm at ProBlogger, Dan, and in today's episode, we'll be going to Taipei's underground mall, Taipei City Mall. I've nicknamed this place Taipei's One Mile Mall, because if you take an entire lap underground, it's one mile long. This video is pretty long because I take you on an adventure. We're gonna walk the entire length of this mall and there's gonna only be a few cuts just to explain what it has to offer. Well, let's get started. To access Taipei One Mile Mall, you have to start at Taipei Main Station, the central hub of Taiwan. Here, you have access to the airport MRT, the high-speed rail, the Taiwan Railways, and the subway system. So once you get to Taipei Main Station, make your way towards Taipei City Mall. Taipei City Mall is one of the best places to shop for souvenirs in Taiwan. They have the best rates, the lowest prices, and you won't really get those uh, low-quality tourist rip-off style prices. Over here, it's pretty straight up. If it's low quality, you can already tell it's low quality. Here I bought a couple shirts that pretty much were destroyed after a few washes. Uh, I bought them for 100 NT and 200 NT, which is like $10 combined for two shirts. Still a pretty reasonable price. I. I'll be more careful of what I buy in the future. It was one of those touristy shirts that I was very tempted to purchase. I mostly come here to get exercise. Well, starting at the eastern end of Taipei City Mall is the Y1 entrance, which takes you all the way from Y1 to Y26. There's 26 different entrances and exits to Taipei City Mall. On the eastern end, you can find a small stage with performances throughout the day. All you have to do is tip if you feel like it, it's optional, or you can just sit there and enjoy the music. And this entrance gets you into the Q Square Mall. Take a quick look. That was entrance Y3 to get to Q Square Mall. Also on the east side, you'll find massage places, a few cafes, restaurants, and a lot of fashion shopping and souvenirs. So you can find luggage, clothing, belts, spoons, chopsticks, pretty much almost anything that is small and portable to purchase here. Some of the video isn't really gonna line up with my dialogue because I'm just gonna explain everything at once while still walking through this entire mall. This is a one mile walk, so I'll just be walking around, I'll be talking, I'll be reading, I'll be uh, listening to music. You can probably mute it or uh, just listen to the peaceful background music, listen to my soothing voice as we go on this adventure. So in this mall, besides the typical souvenirs and clothing shops, you can also find less known things, less, pop, less things you'd expect to find in a mall. In Taiwan, they really like anime and video games, so on the western side of the mall, not saying that 
it's Western, as in the geographical, cultural influences, but on the actual Western side of the mall towards Bayman Station, where Y26 is, uh, you'll find more of the anime and video games. You can find a lot of capsule toys, crane games, video game stores, models. Along with the video games, there are a few spots where you can just play video games. There's just a station for people to hang out, play games, there's seats along the paths, there's uh, an arcade. Most of the games are only 10 NT, which is about 30 cents in US dollars. There's two maid cafes. I haven't been there just because I like good food. Um, but you could go, I see people there hanging out. Some people just show up there to sit down. They work on their laptops. Other than that, there are other restaurants and cafes. Uh, you'll find an Italian restaurant, Indonesian, Malaysian, Singaporean, a lot of Southeast influence. You can even find DVDs, VCDs, Blu-rays, of course, but come on, DVDs? VCDs? Oh my god. The original video compact disc where you'd watch a movie in several parts. I remember these because I was alive during the technological revolution to streaming. I do prefer streaming now, and you're streaming this video, so thank you for that. If you're just hanging out watching, you might as well hit like or subscribe as I stretch for things to talk about. Uh, also, they have several ice cream shops. I'm going to talk about three of them. There's actually four, but the fourth one's never open. And I actually saw it again today. You'll see it in the video. But no one was attending the stand. So there's three that are typically always open. One is just called frozen yogurt ice cream. They sell ice cream for 25 NT for one, scoop, for one scoop, 35 NT for two scoops. That's around, a do around 80 cents to $1.10 in US dollars. And that's the exact same price for Du Royale ice cream. That is the more popular one. There's always a line of people. People are always hanging out eating that ice cream. I haven't tried it yet. I tried a lot of ice cream in Taiwan, but I haven't tried that yet. Just because I'm never in the mood for ice cream when I'm at the Taipei City Mall because I'm always walking around. I'll get into that in a minute. In a minute. And uh, Meiji ice cream, that is a Japanese brand. It's actually a little more expensive than the other ice creams at 35 NT for one scoop and 60 NT for two scoops. So I've actually haven't seen anybody really buying ice cream from here. And the shop is open and attended by a person, but everyone just goes to Du Royale. Lots of advertising for Dead or Alive 6. As far as not being able to eat ice cream in Taipei City Mall, it's because I'm always walking around and too dehydrated to eat ice cream. A lot of people just come here to shop and get good deals. You don't get the tourist prices as you see in Ximen. In Ximen, if you go there for shopping, you're absolutely getting ripped off. I was looking for some phone accessories. I just wanted like a phone stand and they were selling them for 200 NT in Ximen. When I went to Taipei City Mall to check it out, they were selling it for 50. In Ximen, I even tried negotiating and they did not want to negotiate. So if you're looking for good deals, be sure to look around first. Taipei City Mall, I absolutely recommend. If you're looking for clothing, Wu Fen Pu is the place to go. It's called Wu Fen Pu Shopping District. W U F E N P U. Wu Fen Pu. 
I'll actually have another video on that coming up soon. I just have to keep talking now because this video is like 20 minutes long, man. It's it's a lot of walking. All right, more on Taipei City Mall. They have a place. Well, there's several places to get massages there. Two of them are by blind people. It's just a blind massage. You can pick where you want a massage. It's 100 NT for every 10 minutes, which is the going rate for most massage shops in the area. But the difference is it's not in Taipei City Mall. You can go to like some pretty nice places in the area for 100 NT every 10 minutes, but that's more in the form of 600 NT for one hour. They won't have like that 10 minute package. You have to do at least 40 minutes. I've tried uh, the Taiwanese massage and I can't do it. It's way too painful. I have a blog post on that. It was one of the most ex terrifying and painful massages I've ever had. I won't do it again. Uh, if I'm in Taipei and I need a massage, I go to Thai Massage and that normally straightens up my back. I really like how they crack your back and it just makes you feel like you're back at 100%. Uh, Thai massage can vary in Taipei. A lot of them try to sell you on two hour packages and those can range from 1000 to 1200 NT which is pretty reasonable. For 1000 NT and two hours of a Thai massage that's about 30 US dollars. Alright, more on this. There is a special type of massage you can get in Taipei City Mall. You can get a knife massage. Knife massage, as you can see, is a very light knife massage. They're using knives and they have a towel over the person's back to, I guess, even out the distribution of the sharpness of the blade. I don't think they use very sharp blades because if they did, they could cut right through. As far as quality of massage, you can tell they're going pretty light and quick. I don't know how much of uh, a health impact or improvement a knife massage would give you if it gave you a lot and a huge improvement in I guess vitality uh, I think it'd be more popular so I haven't really seen many knife massage places except for in this underground area or any touristy place but uh, I think it's also because it's more expensive this knife massage is 220 NT for every 10 minutes, so it's more than double the going rate of the area. Not only do they do knife massages, they also do light healing. So after you're cut up and bleeding from this knife massage, you can get some you can get healed by some light for only 300 NT for every 10 minutes. The healing costs much more than the actual knife massage. A little strange, but you could go for it as a gift or yeah, this would be the perfect gift to give somebody you don't like. Additionally, they also do fortune telling. I couldn't really tell what type of fortune telling they did. They had some books on the table. I think they do the number of strokes. Um, Fortune telling. Most fortune telling only costs 100 NT in Taiwan, so that's about three dollars and some change to get your fortune told. I don't really believe in it, just because I think it's a waste of money. Whatever happens, I'm pretty. I'm just gonna let it happen. I'm not gonna pay somebody to give me vague advice about the future. Most of the restaurants are on the west side of Taipei City Mall. But as you can see, it's much more empty because it's a lot further from the Taipei Main Station Terminal where you have the MRT, which is the subways, the train, the high-speed rail, the uh, airport line. So right now we're about half a mile from that spot, so you don't see many 
tourists coming out this far. Almost at the end on this side, there's like some meat cafes, a couple restaurants, mostly anime stuff, uh, some crane games. Made in school is one main cafe. Get some haircuts. Right now, the far west end, which is half a mile from main station, and now the loop back starts. As you can see, there's not many people around here. Since there's not too much traffic, there's also not that many shops. But if you're interested, yeah, it's 100 NT. You can check it out. A lot of the places speak English or Korean or Japanese. You just have to ask before you sit down. Otherwise, you might be in for a situation where you don't understand whatever they say and you're already paid. So mostly on the west side, you'll see some Indonesian restaurants, uh, Malaysian, Singaporean, something Italian. Uh, some local spots. So if you're hungry, come to the west side. They also do haircuts. There's two places to get haircuts in Taipei City Mall. You can get the haircuts for around 100 to 200 NT. That's around $6. It's a pretty good deal. Um, one of the shops sometimes has a special for 100 NT, which is like $3 in change to get a haircut. As for the quality of the haircut, you might be getting what you pay for. I'm sure you can't ask for anything too complicated versus a typical standard cut that they can do. Otherwise, uh, it's all about turnover at that kind of rate. Dude Royale ice cream is pretty popular. Meiji is okay. It's a little more expensive. Frozen yogurt. Mm. Prices are good, but no one's there today. Or at this very moment. More of the arcade. Oh, there's also a caricature artist for 100 NT. Someone will make a drawing of your face. And lastly, there is a post office here. So if you want to buy a souvenir postcard, you can find the post office underground here and then mail a postcard to a person you want to. I know a lot of people do this, but I don't. 
So, that is an option. It is a great place for souvenirs if you don't have a lot of time in Taipei. Say you have a layover that's maybe five hours at Taipei Airport. Uh, that's enough time to get to Taipei City Mall, walk around for an hour or two, and then head back to the airport. It takes about 40 minutes on the airport MRT to get to the city if you get on the express train and another 40 minutes back. Going through security is fairly fast. Immigration lines could take some time. I'd factor out another 40 minutes for that. So you're at 120 minutes. So it's a three hour trip back to back. As in, you leave the airport from the uh, departures area and then you get back. You need at least three hours. So if you have at least five hours, you have a safe shot of uh, coming to Taipei City Mall for an hour or 90 minutes, checking things out, and sh buying souvenirs real quick. As far as getting food, I would check out the actual dining area at Taipei Main Station. You'll have to go above ground for that. They have a few Michelin rated restaurants, some that are pretty good. Uh, I eat there regularly just because it's very convenient and the food is tasty. So yeah, we're almost done walking around this huge mall. Um, thanks for watching. All right, I'm just gonna stop talking soon and you can enjoy the music. This is Dan from blog.org at ProBlogger. back to Y8 where we started, which is the Taiwan Railways and High Speed Rail entrance. Thank you. 